Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. What was that? Just the rhythm I was snapping. Okay. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction video. It's up, Corbin. Snapping turtles. You call us on Instagram, Instagram Twitter, Twitter, or juicy content. content. It's so He's juicy. He's throwing it at you. Uh, Watch uh, out. Whoa. Get a little elbow in there. Wow. Is that what you're doing? Uh, uh, today, we're wrapped to do a video. This is, uh, I think this is a uh, comedian of some, I mean, a YouTuber of some sort. Has 1.6 million subscribers. But this is a video of his. It's called Living on $1 Indian Street Food for 24 Hours. It's easy. Look at that. Very easy. $1? Yeah. Yeah, it's 75 rupees. Has it gone up? I don't know if it's gone up, but except between 70 and 80. Yeah. Street food? Yeah. <laughs> Easy. Easy. Yeah. But um, we did not get a, 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 enough time to try all the street food that we wanted to. We tried some. Uh, Rajasthan, especially. We, we, we yeah, we really, there. we wanted to. Corwin was sincere about doing that $100 oh, uh, I street so challenge bad. in I Mumbai. Wanted to, I wanted to buy so many people food. So next time. Because, like, here, me and my wife and my child, if we could go out to eat, uh, well, I guess we can now, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, we can uh, now. Uh, but if we, if, if, if we couldn't for a while, but if we go out to eat, it's almost a hundred dollars depending on the restaurant. For three? Yeah. yeah. Almost a hundred dollars. I mean, it could be easily be well over depending on the restaurant. Yeah, it could be, but on average it would be between 50 and yeah. 75. Mm -hmm. Easy. Yeah. So spending a hundred dollars is not that crazy here in Los Angeles. Well, it is, it is there when you consider the yeah. fact that you can get you know, you can get some... Especially in street food. Yeah, you can get some chai and some pani for you for 20 rupees. Yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, this is this video, and I'm, I'm hoping we'll just see some delicious... Cause yeah, exactly. Street food, because this is what I wanted to do. Um, Every video we've seen... This is pretty astonishing, because we've seen quite a few food videos. Mm. There is always something new that we're like, whoa, what's that? Always. Yep. Let's see. How's it taste for you? I have no walls to clean it because your eyes could do it justice. You just have this massive <laughs> eye. <laughs> Thanks for the zoom in. What are you in there? Mumbai, not that far. That actually looks familiar. Hello, where we are. Welcome back to Mumbai, India. You know, over the course of the last week or so, I've been exploring different cities and towns across India. And each town and city that I've been in, I've pretty much had a friend or YouTuber show me around. And this has basically been my almost like jumpstart into the Indian culture. They've shown me their favorite places, their favorite food, basically how they spend their daily lives. However, as you can see around me, I have no local or person showing me the best places today. And seeing that I've oh, only been in Mumbai for not a good day, idea. I don't know this city at all. So how I'm gonna start off this adventure today is first by going to a place that I've walked by a few times and just walking the streets of Mumbai. And then after that, just relying on the locals to guide me through the best street food here. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, yeah, mother Papa. Is it Bapaji? I think I've made that. Or wanted to, I don't know. Is that butter? <laughs> yeah, I think it is. Yeah! Oh, it's Woo! That's exactly what it is. Oh, oh, oh. Heavenly. Oh, no, that's Bob Faji. I have made that. This is it's not bottom bottom, that's bottom yeah, bottom yeah, bottom. You have one side the food being made, the other side a massive line, and of course the other side people watching me vlog here. <laughs> but anyway, the food that I went with was the famous pav bhaji. This is basically a gravy substance it's made from potatoes, tomatoes, spices, and of course just oh, top from a massive yeah, amount it. of butter. And on the side Woo! here we have a butterized pow. So anyway, you can say that this is quite a heavy meal. You think I'll like it? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Oh. oh my lord. That's amazing, guys. When you bite into that, the first thing that hits the back of your mouth is the tomato. But then after that, it's just the thickness and richness of the uh, butter. Like, the only way I can describe this is it's the absolute heaviest dish that you've ever eaten with a tomato and potato. Holy crap. This is what a way to start. Oh my god. Yeah, Papa Jean is delicious. What's the best street food for you guys? It has to be under 70 rupees. Ooh, 
it is freaking hot out here, man. They gave me these towels for my hands. I'm using it for my sweat. So the first people that I asked, I was a tiny bit disappointed in their response. Below 70 rupees. Below 70 rupees. Yes. Yeah, that's not the Taj. <laughs> this, this is the challenge. Yeah. So what they were sitting in front of the Taj? Yeah! <laughs> and see if they it's have white! It's white! Sitting in the Taj! And I'm on a challenge today where I eat street food for 70 rupee or lower. The best street food. You might go for a while. Ah, uh, what about? I find some places here for me. Okay. Yeah. Typically, I don't know any name of here. Okay. You can just Go down and find something. Okay, so <laughs> good. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. All right, have a good Best day. Best of guys. luck. Right. Okay, so although I have heard of a water bowl before, I don't exactly know what it is. So I'm just gonna wander around a little bit and see what we can find. Oh, I did actually the water bowl. One water bowl. There you go. Thank you. Twenty rupee. Okay. Okay, so we officially found our mother bar. We didn't have with a well, bun. We did. The we did. But we didn't have a street food one. Right. I think they bought it. I'm not exactly sure what is in this 100 percent because I <laughs> it's potato. But I'm just gonna bite in, see how it tastes, and, and then see the things inside. It's very it's filling. Delicious. Crap. That is absolutely wonderful. You know, before biting in, I thought it was gonna be quite crunchy, but it turned out that with the potato, it just like all mushed together, making for a complete bite of that pow, but also the sauce and the potato. Yum yum yum! Thing is absolutely so special. Good. I've never had a sandwich that literally just like compresses <laughs> down. All it would be one of the first. So like we go back so to Mumbai, one of the first things I want is that. Yeah. Um, if you had to eat one street food, where would you eat in India? <laughs> Do you understand? What do you want? Um, I'm looking for the best street food. Best? Street food. Huh? How will it come? How will it? How will it? Where you have been? Before this, where you have been? Just over there. There? Yeah, and here. That's okay, it. This is the two things you had. Two things I had, yeah. So I'll tell you one thing. You go from straight from here. Okay. There is a way in mm -hmm. the Maidan. Okay. Garden. A way in the middle, Maidan. yeah. Yeah. From there, you take a right. Okay. There will be a cloth store, this land, fashion street. Okay. All cloth store is there. Okay. Behind that there is a cow belly, lots of variety. Street ah, food. Okay. Ah, you're going there? Ah, okay, okay. Okay, okay. 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 wonderful. Thank you. You go okay, cool. I follow you. So <laughs> I knew so Captain America would help him. has turned into next cap. <laughs> these guys to the best next place. What are your names? My name is Manish. Steve Rogers. And your name? Susan. Susan. <laughs> Straight up rocking your ceiling. Oh, 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 there's something on my sub. Your sub booming. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Is it like cricket? Okay. Bye -bye. Sure looks like it. Oh my gosh, so nice. They weren't even going here and they just brought me here. And holy crap, when you look around, this oh, market glorious. is like four times as big as the one I was just at. Now, I don't know any of these places here, <laughs> obviously, but kind of my strategy when I don't know a street food or I don't know a place is just to go to the place that has the biggest line. It means at least a bad strategy. It's a good strategy. Food. Okay, I think I found my place. This place looks like it's absolutely popping here. What's the best thing to get here? I think you should try. Puri 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 Can I? Yes, yes, please. Yes, so nice. Puri Puri? I don't know what I'm going to get, but I know that it's a very good For me? No, I don't think so. The same syllables, but I don't think that's what it was. 35. Holy crap, this is a massive play for 35. Okay. We have tomato and potato, potato, chole, and of course the famous puri. Now, I was not expecting to have this big of a plate of food for 35. Okay. Food combined with the Indian heat makes for just sinuses like 
everything coming out of you. Oh, Santo? Santo, yeah. Bobby. Good to meet you. Uh, yeah. Uh, from the United States. I'm happy that you came up to me, actually, because I have a question for you. Yeah, yeah. Ask so, okay. I'm on a journey today yeah. where I'm eating street food yeah. for 70 rupee or lower. There's a small uh, juice in Okay. Small juice in it. You can get uh, fruit That's Indian, the man. They just That's love awesome. They're okay. very helpful people. Yeah. The mango juice over there. The mango juice. Yeah. Nobody in America is going to stop you and help you. Thank you so much, you. man. Yeah. You are guest to, yeah. guest to India. They would oh, point to and show you, but they're not going to walk you. Devo. Yeah. At, at, at the Devo Baba. It's like guest are brought to us. Wait, this is a place? A cop in Manhattan. Oh, this is such a tiny place. A cop in Manhattan. Wow. So you will get your like kiwi, yeah. uh, banana, chiku. Okay. Chiku is like an Indian fruit. Okay. You should definitely try. Alright, yeah. yeah. You tell me what to get there. Here it is, guys. Oh, yeah. yeah. Incredible. The lassi? Oh, so fresh. It's like, like mango lassi. This, you taste just like a layer of this mango and the milk just like surrounding your mouth and tongue. And how much does this cost you? 25 rupees. Just 25 rupees. Wow. Man, if I lived in India, I would be coming here every single day. <laughs> and my sweat with each sip is just going away, going away, going away. Best of luck. Yeah, thank you. Goodbye. Best yeah. of luck. Thank you so much for showing me around. Yeah, yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's a great talk, guys. Bye. Bye. See you guys. Oh, They're stupid man. Oh, we, man. I know this guy's done exploring with Santo and his friend. And man, I am freaking tired, man. I'm gonna take a little bit of break and whoop, Oh, gotta get through these cars. I'm gonna take a little bit of break and then get right back at it. Wow, so beautiful. Okay guys, it has been about two hours or so. But anyway, in that break I met up with my friend Vanisha. And you're gonna show Stupid me baby. around to some yes, places. I'm gonna take him to some of the best places and maybe not some of the like one of the best. Yeah, yeah. Best food on there. Huh? Oh. Okay, you want, let's do it again. Oh. Okay. So. <laughs> Let's do it again. Venetia is a little bit nervous to be on camera. I'm actually going to take him to one of the most famous places in Bombay. Yeah. And one of we are going to have one of the special dish mm. which is called as the ice cream sandwich. So what do you think we should get? Ice cream sandwich! Going with fun. Do you get the most Indian? I've never heard of fun anywhere else. I don't like fun. You don't like fun? No. Okay. Like Ooh. Ooh, this is your pan which I don't want to have. Yes. <laughs> Ice cream uh, pond? This is not a I am ice cream sandwich pond. pond. Even though she's from the pond capital of the world, the pond capital. The pond, oh, the yeah, pond I capital. I, I'm ice cream like pond? A, like, kind of like accent. <laughs> capital. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that, that, that is what India does to you. He's, he's got our issue. You hear something you enough, you start get? doing it, and people think you're mocking it. I know because uh, this is the uh, PC. I know there's different types of pond. I didn't know there was ice cream pond. Me too. And as you said before, I went with the pond, which is a famous leaf of India. A lot of times people eat the pond leaf with it either being sweet or putting tobacco in. However, this one is obviously sweet, and so it's good for your digestion. Yeah, which is good for today's exactly. video. Cheers, not putting pond on yours. Okay, let's dive in. Okay, so he only has the pond. It's such a cool feeling. Do you have the refreshing pond? That makes that air conditioning this, but I wonder how the ice cream one tastes. Not served with ice I'm cream, very so intrigued. With it, it's I wonder if it's floral. How does it taste for you? It is incredible. I have no words to explain it because your eyes is. should do it justice. You just have this massive eye flicker. You're just like, oh. <laughs> but we have to start eating because just take a look at how much it's dripping. It's hot in India, man. <laughs> anyway, guys, today was filled with just experiencing the Indian culture as a whole. Not only eating the food, but meeting locals, seeing their places, and actually meeting a lot of new people. Actually, Venetia here, we're, we we're met not, more. Now we're friends, but <laughs> <laughs> but we met last night in the store when I was notes. editing, and she was actually editing. Hello. But anyway, Venetia also has a channel. What's your channel name? My channel is Verily Vagabonding. Honestly, guys, go check out her channel. Awesome. She's freaking awesome. She stayed with local families all around India, and she's made a bunch of travel vlogs on places that are unexplored places in India. So go check her out. And I don't know, I'm just, I'm so grateful for today. Thank you for showing me this place, yeah. And just thank you to everybody else that showed me around today. You're awesome. I love India. 
I'll see you guys next week. Oh, <laughs> see you guys. That was good. That was really good. I enjoyed that video. And again, something, like I said at the outset, didn't know there was such a thing as an ice cream sandwich pond. Yeah, so I'm guessing it's just uh, pond flavored, but what style of pond? Is it the florally, which I believe is the regular pond, ice cream? Well, you've got the- That would be gross. You've got the leaf, yeah, and then you have the filling, and it's the filling that's way more satura saturated with the, that perfumey stuff. So if it's just the leaf, I can imagine that working in an ice cream sandwich. No. Yeah. It reminds me of Good Mythical Morning. I was like, can you ice cream sandwich that? Gross. Yeah. I, I don't, if you I, don't know Good Mythical Morning, do yourself a favor. Yeah. They're good. They're yeah. Good. They're so they're good. Actually, one of the oldest YouTube channels. They've yeah. been around a long time. Long time. Um, yeah, that was really cool. I would love to... Obviously, we, we were in India for almost two weeks. But obviously we didn't stay in one place, right. so there was so much to do. Yeah. Uh, and so we basically missed an entire day of our trip, sadly, uh, in Rajasthan, which would have been great to have, yeah. because there's so much more we would have liked to have done in Rajasthan. Yeah. But um, I remember just before the OSR trip, talking to somebody who was loves India and has traveled and asked how long we were going to be there, and I said we were going to be there about 10 weeks to, to 10 days to two weeks. And she was disappointed. She was like, oh, too bad. You really need a, like, you need a month. Yeah, you need a long And we're time. like, yeah, we, we know. Yeah. And, and that's just for one region. Yeah. You need a month to, to cover where we covered. Yeah. And that was just the Northwest and the West. Yeah, we covered a lot in a short amount of yeah, time. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. <laughs> the longest we were, uh, the place we were the longest was Mumbai. Mumbai. But we had so much to do. And we were already exhausted. <laughs> By the time yeah. Mumbai came around, I felt so bad for the Mumbai babies because... I know, bless their hearts. In fact, one of the nights we were there, mm -hmm. they had something planned for us to do, and we were just plowed. Yeah. And they graciously, you know, whatever their plan was, I don't even want to know what it was because I'll probably feel really bad. We, you know, they yeah. were so gracious to we, us. I miss, I miss you guys so much. Yeah. Man, can't Thanks. wait to be back. Um, but yeah, that was awesome. Um, I, the Pambaji. Mm. is delicious one of my favorite things we've made you love it it just it it's very very buttery there's so much butter in it and did you butter it up like he did oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. uh it's yeah you'd absolutely love it it's it's and you can make it it's it was one of the lesser expensive things because i know some of the things that are made they're with the spices when you if you don't have those spices on hand if you need the spices yeah it gets <laughs> yeah, no, but you've got you've I, got quite a collection. The entire I have an entire um, cabinet that is full to the brim with Indian spices. I have every single Indian spice known to man. So after you have them all, it's not bad. It's, not, it's easier. Yeah, it's yeah. much easier uh, to you basically if there's a protein you need to buy the protein. Right. Other than that, I have almost I have what, so much rice. So <laughs> what is the most expensive of the things you've had to purchase? Saffron. Saffron. Yeah, I was going to say it is, huh? Because you get, it's like 15 bucks and it's like right. that big little tiny thing of saffron. And I'm sure it's like pennies in India. Yeah. Because that's where it's from. <laughs> and there's there's um, quality of saffron too that you can get more expensive yeah. quality, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but you put that in like rice dishes like uh, when you make biryani. Yeah, which is, which is one of the things here for our palates in the United States no one uses saffron. So when you taste something Indian with saffron in it, it is uniquely Indian. It's so to our so palate. If you ever want to make money, just sell, sell saffron, saffron in the United States. Yeah. <laughs> it's so expensive. Anyways, let us know what other food videos we react to down below. <laughs> Look, <laughs> <laughs>